Today, let's talk about what is in our travel schooling bag. Hey everyone, I decided since we are doing a few things different for the holidays and we actually are doing quite a bit of like back and forth going right now with the drama rehearsals and everything else going on, then I would give you an update on what our travel schooling bag looks like with three high schoolers and one middle school student. So first of all, most of what is in here was things that were in here last time, but some people are new and sometimes it's harder to go back and find some of the older videos unless you like really search for them. So I just thought I'd just go ahead and do an update, talk about things that are in here and kind of give an update on things that are in here that work for us. And then I'll show you a few things that I will be adding uh, to the bag as well and then talk about things that are not currently in here but are added in here as we go or that the kids take in their own individual backpacks because each of the kids do have a backpack that we order from Amazon and I will put that in our affiliates link up here that the kids carry that have like when we go to rehearsals they have a change of clothes in there they have any personal items that they need and they also have like individual schoolwork as well so for my two that are doing zoology right now they may take their zoology worksheets or for uh, my other two they may take like small sewing kits things like that are not going to be in this bag this is more of an in general bag of things for me to carry um, to help them basically just kind of stay caught up on their school or maybe just find some busy work in between sets while we're at the drama practices. So first of all in here, I thought this was gonna open more than this. Um, I'll just pull everything out one at a time. This bag is not supposed to be Velcroed to the, the elastic. I'll try to fix that to where it doesn't do that. It's just a pull out bag that goes in here. And again, this is like a tiny travel bag that actually has a full size suitcase that goes with it, but I use it for our school supplies. I have two in Algebra 1, one in Geometry and one in Algebra 2 this year. So I have always planned on when we're traveling to have like high school math supplies. So we do uh, have two of the protractors in here and we do have one compass in here as well. I did go ahead and buy a new compass because the one that was in here, um, the piece came out or maybe it was one that I, I did buy it specifically for this one and then I had to buy another one for the at home one because it came apart. Um, they don't seem to last more than one school year more than, most of the time. Let's see what else I have in here. This is the shoulder strap for this bag, but honestly, it's so heavy. I just roll it. I did find that we were needing more scissors in here. So I did buy a third pair of scissors. This is the erasable scissors that has like an erasable piece on it, but we don't really like doing that. So we don't. There are, I'll try to see if I can show in here. There we go. So in here, I keep two pens for myself, which have come in handy, um, a red one and a blue one. Um, which again with drawing rehearsals and trying to mark out different lines for people it actually has been really helpful um, Here are the rest of the scissors. There's two more pairs here, and then there's the large erasers We have I love these pencil sharpeners. They the fists are they Fisker? Yeah, they're Fiskers um, These seem to last the best Last yeah, they're the best at lasting a long time um, this comes off fairly easy to dump it out and we don't use like wooden pencils for doing school I do prefer mechanical because you get more of a fine tip for writing and school work But like I'll show you in a minute what we actually use that for and then also I love this part because it has a separate zipper pocket right here I can keep the glue sticks in here. We haven't had to open that one yet But it's in there if we need it and then I did add a fourth ruler into here in this little pocket I don't even know what this pocket would be for outside of this, but this is what we use it for I love these flex rulers. I've heard some teachers don't, like public school teachers, but as a homeschool mom, I found I prefer them because they don't shatter and I'm traveling and I want something that's not gonna break. And so those work out really well. We do have four in there and not all of them are shatter resistant, but that flex one actually, I think is really nice. So the next pocket back, which is the main middle pocket right here, this is everything that is in it. Let me go through it one little stack at a time. This stack right here is mostly like their lack of a better way to put it their activity books this is one that was from a missionary talking about pakistan and turkey that is in here the rest of the no not the rest of these three of these are from aldi every now and then aldi has these uh hinkler yeah hinkler books that they carry in their uh seasonal buy it now it's not going to be here forever section and they're kind of just like little almost what I would call unit study books. So this one is a Know and Glow space book. The next one is an Atlas of the World and then you put stickers on it. And all these are sticker books, by the way. Um, this one's the Stickers of the World. You have to do some reading and then you do stickers to match up with the places in the world. 
The next one is actually from Sam's. Uh, you can still see I bought it from Sam's, nine ninety eight, and it's an animal sticker book. So like each individual one of these is an animal shape or a sticker to match the animal. There's the pictures on the back, kind of show you what it looks like if my camera, there it goes. So like you have all these tiny little stickers and then basically you're making a mural, but you're using uh, stickers to do so. And then the next one on here is the Knowing Glow Animals because the, I had, at one point I had two Atlas and then one space one, I think. Um, I know I had two Atlas ones and then uh, one of them actually finished the Atlas one that she started it over the summer when we were on our summer trip and then uh, she finished it off recently at a uh, doctor's visit. So she finished that one off, so she asked, and I had already bought all four of them, the animal sticker one, so this one's kind of a fun one, especially like we're traveling in the evening right now, so actually it's kind of fun to have something that's like glow in the dark for her. Not that we encourage like reading in the dark because it's bad for the eyes, but you know what I mean. Um, it's fun for them to be able to open that up at night and see the pictures while we're driving. So those are like their activity books, things to keep them kind of busy. This stack, I'm actually missing two of them. I'll get to that in a minute, but this is mine. It's uh, the adventure folder. My initial goal with this was I was going to keep my proof of homeschooling in here, my uh, proof of being a teacher in East Tennessee or in Tennessee in here, and then uh, some other paperwork that I would need. Like if I ever had to like pull something out and be like, proof, it all. I'm actually we're actually homeschooling. No, my kids are not uh, skipping school. They're actually doing school right now. But I found that I was carrying that in my backpack anyways, and I almost always have my backpack, especially if I have the travel schooling bag. So instead, what I've done is now I'm going to start carrying worksheets in here for the kids for when we're traveling. So one of the things I've always talked about is math is one of the subjects I will always outsource to like online. Like I've considered going back to workbooks lately just for reasons, but I prefer the online because like it auto grades for them. There's videos they can watch to teach them to do it. And the way that he does the videos, it's like taught almost in two different ways at the same time. Um, so like they have their virtual math, but when we're traveling, I don't like taking the Chromebooks with us unless like we're going somewhere that definitely has internet and it's somewhere like when we did house sit staying over the summer. We took the Chromebooks, but whenever we do hotel stays, I'm not taking the Chromebooks with this. So I wanted something fun to do. And I know like this is just numbers, like this top one is just numbers, but basically all of these are from the website Coloring Squared. And they have multiple different topics you'll see here in a minute that they cover kind of a multitude of things. Um, this one is just numbers and it's a color by number, but also like I still, I don't know, I, I, I would still count this as math just because it's still math skills to me and and like you're gonna see it's more than just like color by number and for middle and high schoolers so this one says pop though this is one of the um pokemon ones and then the next one says creeper christmas and you can see that it's division and let me pull these out it's probably gonna be easier to just pull these out i won't show you all the ones that we bought but like or bought that we downloaded they're free downloads um but like here's the color key here you have to match it and then i'll show you the color pencils here in a minute um, which not all the color pencils actually go with this in this bag. We take two bags when we're doing the color pencils. But like this top one is a Pokemon when it says Poplio. But then this one's like the Creeper Christmas and it has division. And you have to answer the division problems. Like this square here is 10 divided by 2. And then you have to find that 10 divided by 2 is 5. So you say, okay, 5 and then 5 is black. And then color that square. And then all the white squares are automatically done for you. And I love that because white's not going to show up on a white piece of paper. One of the other topics on here is uh, they do actually have Bible themed ones. So the parable of the lost sheep and this one is also division and it gives the Bible reference for it. Um, the other ones that I printed for, uh, that one says Creeper Christmas so you kind of got the idea, but there are also some Christmas themed ones in here. Like this one's back to just the color by number matching it, but there's also Bible with this one to go with it to read. I'm trying to find, I did a variety of them. Um, these are also division. That's a Christmas division one. Um, here is an ornament one that is subtraction. So like they're all different ones. I think I did all of them. I may have just done a subtraction and division, but they have addition subtraction, multiplication, division, just number, match. Um, there's one that it's a mural, so like your kid can do one each day, and then at the end there's a big mural they make with it. 
all pieced together yet. So here's a Star Wars one because Star Wars and it has um, addition on it. So it's just a wide variety of them. You can go and you can look at specific themes that match uh, what your kids like. My kids like Star Wars and Minecraft and Pokemon and we love Christmas in our house. So like that gives us a wide variety of ones to choose from. So the next thing in the middle stack that's more of like more focused learning instead of just like workbook learning or like uh, focus study. We do have this graph composition paper. I think we actually have ended up using this now when traveling so I won't flip through it in case one of the kids schoolwork is in here. But again with Algebra 1, Geometry and Algebra 2 it is really helpful to have graph paper with us all the time. My dryer just shut off. This is a spare um, travel journal that we have. This actually matches a floppy folder. So now I know who, who has a, a travel journal that's not in here. Um, but it was just, it matched it. So we went ahead and bought it, but also it is kind of nice to have just like an empty spiral notebook to take with us to write things down as we need to go. And again, I won't cover what's in here cause like they're already filled out, but this is their, uh, go to year round homeschooling with Misty Leesk. She has travel journals for kids. You can do the packing list. Um, you can do a day by day planner, morning, afternoon, evening, and then there's like a journaling page that you also do for each day that they write. Where did they go? How far did they go? Did they spend money? What did they do? What was their favorite thing? What was something they learned? And I love those packets and we usually take those with us whenever we do anything that's like a full day trip or an overnight trip. Um, and that's what these are in here for. And I usually prefer to keep in the travel schooling bag just so it's easier for the kids to find them whenever we do those overnight stays. With holidays coming up soon, that may or may not be happening and we'll have to wait and see. The third stack over here is for free writing because one of the things Matt and I love encouraging the girls to do is just be able to free write, like just journal and do some freelance writing on their own. If they want writing prompts, we actually do have a jar of Christmas themed specific writing prompts and non-Christmas themed writing prompts. Um, and sometimes it'll just be like a naming three random items and you have to make a story that goes with them. And so like sometimes if they need that, they can. Um, if they want to draw in them, they can. I have one that does better with like drawing plus writing. I have one that prefers to just show emotions through drawing. So they can do that as well. But most of the drawing supplies are actually in their fun schooling bag, which is not being shown here. But this is a journal for each new, each one of them. And I too really, really love this sloth one because it also closes over on it. Um, then we also just have a random pack of stickers to go with it if they want to put stickers in their journals or other travel journals. Whatever they want, it's just stickers. It's, it's fun. This is the Colors of the World color pencil set. When my middle schooler was going through... Um, creation science she had a lot of worksheets that was talking about how we ended up with the different uh, skin colors of different people and the science behind all of that and pigmentation and so she actually specifically asked for this pack so that she could do those worksheets um, that you know show that we are all we can all be different races but we're all from the same race and we're all you know part of the same family so i went ahead and picked these up and i love these uh for her to be able to use for that and also like it does give some uh, more like shading options as well if they actually want to like freelance draw people as well so this i actually just opened a brand new pack normally every school year i buy one to two packs of uh, mechanical pencils because I'm not a huge fan. I don't like using a lot of plastic. I hate wasting plastic, but mechanical pencils just have a finer tip on them than wooden pencils do without constant sharpening, and they just don't last long. So I usually end up buying a pack a year, and when I just refilled this one, and what I did was I took what was left in here, and I put it in our basket in our school corner, and they were mostly, you know, really nice because they stay in this case and usually are only for traveling. So what was left in here went in there. So now the ones for the school corner are refreshed and now there's a brand new pack in here. And the kids and I were just laughing at the fact that like I open it up and there's actually multiple colors in here. The reason I picked this specific pack is because, there we go, there's more colors, is when the kids are traveling it's much easier when we're traveling in a van together or in a vehicle together to be like hey i had the dark blue hey i had the teal then to try to look at the color band on the uh the plastic part right here to see who had what color but now everybody's going to be having a lot of green i may buy another pack and rotate that through it's hilarious how much teal is in here because like it's it, it's so it, it's supposed to be random and usually like when we get stuff like this the teal is actually the one that has the least amount in here normally it's mostly pink or mostly blue so 
it, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, there's a brand new pack in there. Let me put this pack back and then I'll show you the few things in the last pouch. This is the third pouch and this is actually designed to open all the way up. It's supposed to be able to hold a uh, laptop. I think when we did our trip with the Chromebooks, I actually put the Chromebooks in here and then moved this stuff to a different bag. This book is so big it has to fit back here. This is the Amazing Atlas Activity Book. And this is a book that the kids do together. So we actually did this one together on our trip. Um, I think we did it on either our last day or second to last day. And it just has some fun little activity things for the kids to do together. And then last but not least, it's the uh, last three books of the Glow in the Dark Animal Sticker books for the kids. That way if they finish off their other books, they're already in here. And that is it for our travel schooling bag for the holiday season of 2020. Thank you to all of our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos. And thank you to every single one of you for liking, watching, positive comments, and subscribing. And we will see you next time.